Hello everyone and welcome to Steelbook Obsessed. My name is Jake and I am in the mood to do some thrifting, folks. I'm normally not on this part of town, so I'm going to a thrift store I haven't been to, God, I'd say in a couple of years, but last time I did, they had a little section of movies. So I'm really hoping that that section is either expanded or it still has some goodies left to be found. We shall find out. It's kind of a uh, Christian-based religious uh, thrift store. That's the word I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, can't wait to kind of dig my fingers through and see what I find. If you like all these types of thrifting videos, I also love to do them as well. Make sure you give a like, a follow, a subscribe, all that fun stuff. This channel is growing slowly but surely, and I will continue to record as long as you guys continue to watch. So without further ado, let's get to it, huh? So here we are at the Many Hands Thrift Market. There's a handful of these in the Des Moines metro area where I am from. And I haven't been to this one in quite a long time. So when I walked in and I saw that their media section was beefed up this awesome, I about flipped out. DVDs 249, all other media 149? Does that mean Blu-rays and 4Ks? I don't know, but I'm about to find out. Let's see what they have here. Oh, off to a great start. Got some uh, dog content, who doesn't like that? But we also have some Blu-rays, Thomas and Friends, uh, not for me, but maybe for somebody else. Keep on going, looking here, got some Treasure Planet, I don't have this, I've never seen it. Do I need it in the collection if I haven't seen it yet? I don't, I don't know. But, cartoons that time forgot are right up my alley. Love me these old fashioned cartoons, love me some shorts. They're also loggable on Letterboxd, and I love to do so because not enough people talk about them. And I love to spread the word on shorts like that. Pan and down here, I see another one, Ice Age. I'm okay without having that. Zootopia, I do have that. Great movie. Excited for the sequel. But then I see Happy Feet. Um, I have not watched Happy Feet. And I just marathoned all of the Mad Max movies from George Miller. George Miller also directed this. Tempted to pick this one up. We shall see. But over in the VHS section, and they had a bunch of VHSs. The Beatles. Uh, this looks very knockoffish. It's a documentary about half an hour long. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds great. I don't know how much VHS are yet. Here's one for Jane Doe. If it's all other media and they're $1.49, that's a bit pricey. So I don't know which ones I'm going to get and which ones I'm going to put back just yet, but I'm making a stack nonetheless. I will say Three Ninjas is coming home with me. I have two of the four and now I have a third. I, I love that movie. Slapping in the Stinkers too. I remember this movie. I remember the title because I remember laughing at it as a kid. I just laughed at it as an adult too. Um, probably going to bring this one home too. They have a ton of VHS, and one that is popping out right here is the SNL 15th Anniversary Special. Okay, love me the 25th Anniversary Special. I've never seen the 15th. And wait, what's, what, what's this? Nickelodeon. The Adventures of Pete and Pete. That orange VHS tape. I absolutely love it. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have any Pete and Pete on VHS, and I loved that show as a kid. You're coming home with me. There's even more VHS. There's just a ton of media here. I spent far too long looking at all of this. They had the original and remake of The Parrot and Trap. Don't know if I need these or not. Again, that that buck 49 for a VHS, if that is true, I just it doesn't doesn't seem up my alley at all. They had a, a lot. Ooh, big green. They had a lot of duplicates here. Um, God, I remember that movie. I've never seen The Big Green, but I remember seeing it all over the place. Return of Jafar. I liked as a kid. I rewatched as an adult. That movie is pure trash. But looking back over some of the other VHS tapes, here's Mr. Mom. Okay, I like that artwork quite a bit. I already have the Shout Select, so I don't think I need the VHS for it. But just kind of looking over everything. Here's a Lorax. My kids like the Illumination Lorax. Maybe they'll like this one. I don't know. They also had a lot of Stars Borns. This is the first one, uh, not the 70s or 2020s remake. Next up, we have some Tarzan, his mate. Okay, not sure why I pulled that, but there it is. They just have a lot of tapes. Oh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yes, sir. I have a small but mighty VHS collection of Alvin and the Chipmunks, and I don't have Love Potion number nine. This is also coming home with me for sure. And then I kind of look, it's a buck 49, but there's another tape on this one, 25 cents each for each VHS tape. Are you kidding me? And then the pink stickers are 50% off. Some of the ones that I've picked out are already pink sticker. I did not realize. Okay, time to load up on some VHS. That darn cat, maybe? Um, here's some Elvis. I don't need GI Blues in my life, but 
I know that I'm going to bring a bigger stack than I initially planned on. The best of candid camera, that's pretty cute. Here, I have this already. Mickey's House of Mouse in the villain special. Not enough people talk about this special. Absolutely great, great stuff. Just having all the Disney IPs kind of blend together in that House of Mouse. I love it so, so much. Here's a lot of pink. Oh my goodness. Um, There are a lot of DVDs, and I'm trying not to collect a lot of DVDs anymore. Blu-rays, 4Ks, VHS are like my main three. I barely go back to DVDs anymore. But there are a handful of uh, Blu-rays here. I already have all those, and I love this Inception uh, slipcover. I already have it, though. So, putting that sucker back, too. Here's Tower Heist. Do I need Tower Heist in my life? I uh, Spoilers, I don't think so. Here is a, yet another area of movies. This one is only halfway full, so at least we're getting to the end of it, and a lot of these are... Ooh, Nashville. Okay, very good. I don't like Nashville. I don't know why I pulled that. Um, there are a lot of DVDs here as well. Carpool Guy, never heard of it. Have some people that I have heard of before. Still not up my alley, though. Ooh, we got some Blu-rays here. Own every single one of those. Great. When you're a collector, the more often you go out and the longer you collect, the harder it is to find stuff you actually need in your collection, which is a gift and a curse, I guess. Leave it for people that need it. Um... But yeah, it's just harder and harder to find stuff that you actually need for the collection. So that's why I'm panning over all of these just to see like, hey, I would have picked that up. Maybe that's what you're thinking. I, I have no idea. This one is chock full, but this is the last area of movies. Again, here are a bunch of uh, DVDs that I don't really need. I love Torque. Uh, I, I love the Fast and Furious franchise and Torque is just like a dumb cousin, more or less, with uh, motorcycles. Here is Queen of Katwi. Um... I don't even remember hearing of that Disney movie. Interesting, interesting. But I have heard of this. Disney Channel original movie, Cowbells. I love finding these Disney Channel original movies. Um, I don't think there a lot of these are on Disney+, Plus, so they just kind of live and die on physical media these days. Going up here, ooh, best of Cosby. That's going to stay there forever, isn't it? Let's go down. Let's go down here. The Finest Hours. Okay, um, have not heard of this one either. It's got some Chris Pine, it's got some Casey Affleck. Hey everybody, and as you just saw, I got a lot of stuff, enough to fill a bag worth. Um, that was way better than what I thought it was going to be at the beginning of that video. Really didn't know what I was going to expect. And uh, I'm glad I collect uh, VHS tapes because I found a ton of those suckers in there. And at a quarter, um, I could have went super crazy, but I'm trying to be a little bit, uh, lenient like i'm not just gonna pick up every movie that i like on the vhs format i want to pick movies that you know might not have gotten like a blu-ray 4k up res release i kind of just want to get movies that i liked as a kid i want my kids to watch movies that i adore now or just kind of lost on the vhs slash dvd format but i did find a blu-ray and a couple dvds as well but let's get started starting with the one that i was most excited to find the Adventures of Pete and Pete. Are you kidding me? I loved this show as a kid. Um, I have this series on Blu-ray, but you can never pass up. You can never pass up the Pete and Pete Nickelodeon orange hit that tapes. They are the best. It looks like it even had a little Pete tattoo inside originally. That would have been pretty cool to have. Two classic episodes plus Artie's superhero workout. Okay, let's go. I cannot wait to watch this sucker it is going to be a blast if you've not seen the adventures of pete and pete it still holds up to this day it's one of those classic kids shows that you can watch as an adult and completely still fall in love with the next vhs tape i got uh really spiked my interest because i've never seen it i've always been you know i've seen the 25th anniversary edition of saturday night live I did not know they had a 15th anniversary, but of course they did, because why wouldn't they celebrate any anniversary that they hit? I love seeing that on the background. It says, celebrate 15 years of TV's most irreverent um, and innovative comedy show, included hysterical highlights from 92 of the greatest sketches. That's crazy. But I don't know like if we'll get like an ensemble, like the big um, 25th anniversary did for us or not. I'm just, uh, just not sure. And I checked, I haven't, I honestly haven't checked any of these for mold. At a quarter, I just grabbed, and I will check here when I'm talking with you. It's weird that you would put Belushi on both sides. You'd think you'd put Belushi on one and somebody else on the other. But yeah, pretty excited to pop this sucker into, how long is this sucker? 100 minutes. 
So very, very fast paced. And there are so many people in that photo and it lists out all of them there too. Very, very cool stuff. Um, quickly, the next movie I've never heard of, it just kind of garnered my attention. Terry Hatcher and Rob Lowe in Jane Doe. Um, don't know. I've never seen this movie. I've never heard of this movie. And I feel like this movie has not went past the DVD stage at the very least. It might just be dead on VHS. Um, yeah, I'm always interested in finding movies like that. It's an action movie with two actors that I do like. So that should be a fun one to watch. Uh, speaking of fun, as a kid, I watched the crap out of Alvin and the Chipmunks, a lot of their specials. So when I saw a Valentine's Day one, one that I didn't have yet, because I have a handful, um, Love Potion number nine, of course I'm adding this to the collection. I adore this. I adore any like themed Alvin and the Chipmunks stuff, especially from like the late 80s, early 90s. I think it's so, so cool. 25 minutes long, you can see like they put some different reels on this sucker because it's only 25 minutes they had to really stretch that out and it looks like the person who owned this even decided to label it on the side that's another thing that i like about vhs collecting that you just can't really replicate anywhere else they put you never know what you're gonna find on the actual tape itself whether that be from a rental store or just moms wanting to label put their label to good use um yeah alvin and chipmunks very excited Another thing I'm excited about, I have two of the Three Ninjas movies. Now I have three of the four. This is Three Ninjas High Noon at Mega Mountain. Um, yeah, Hulk Hogan. Big fan of Hulk Hogan as a kid. Big fan of Three Ninjas as a kid. Put them both together. Yes, <laughs> absolutely yes, all the way yes. No mold on this sucker either. Very cool to see. Now the only one that I need is Knuckle Up, I believe. And then I'll have all of the Three Ninjas movies. I bet this is not good anymore, but I loved it as a kid, especially when you can just like throw amusement park stuff in as a setting. I'm a sucker for that stuff. I forgot Jim Varney was in this, by the way. Yeah, I think this is going to be a fun rewatch for sure. Next one up, I'm a big fan of the Bay Toes. So when I saw this cover, I've never seen this cover before in my life. Absolutely jumped on it. This tape contains no music performed by the Beatles is the first thing I noticed on the back. So that's great. And this just looks like it's slap chopped together by some company who may or may not have gotten the rights to the Beatles. It's a 30 minute documentary. So this sucker is short. The label has seen better days, but the tape itself looks pretty decent. So uh, a 30 minute doc on the Beatles. Sign me up on that for sure. My kids love the Lorax. So when I saw this VHS of the animated Lorax, I picked it up because they like the the, the um, Illumination Studios one. I don't even know if they know that this exists. This is a sing-along classics? Um, sure. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> this was definitely a blind one. Um, 30 minutes long on this sucker, too. That seems to be a theme with a lot of these VHS tapes. Just kind of put out just enough content to um, make for a release on home video and throw it on there and sell as many copies as you can and go on to the next one. This movie I totally forgot existed. I remember watching it as a kid, but it kind of got lost in the way of like Little Rascals and Andre with the um, seal. This is what Slappy and the Stinkers. <laughs> this movie definitely has gotten lost to time because I totally forgot about it. Slappy and the Stinkers is loaded with nonstop laughs. This film is pure family fun. Okay, I honestly cannot remember a thing about this movie, but I do remember the title and it being super crazy, super silly. Uh, eight-year-old me loved it. So I'm hoping that my uh, eight-year-old right now will love it as well. A whopping 79 minutes, folks. Watch out. And then I got two big clamshell releases. First one is Richie Rich. I watched this movie so much as a kid. Anything with Macaulay Culkin. I was going to give a chance because I was a huge Home Alone fan. Don't know what the tape is going to look like yet. It makes me a little bit nervous, but hey, no mold on this one too. We are batting a thousand so far on the no mold. I remember really enjoying this as a kid too. Um, I want to say the ending is like in Mount Rushmore. And uh, yeah, just, you know, as a kid, you always want to be rich and have dumb fun money. That's why I love Blank Check so much. I uh, still love that movie to this day, even though the, the romance angle is still weird. But that, that's another conversation entirely. The last VHS tape that I got, The Big Green. This is a movie I've never seen before, even though it's kind of 
it has a few different people from uh, the Sandlot, and I absolutely adored the Sandlot. I uh, will definitely check out the Big Green. It's one that I knew of it before, of course, but I just was never a big soccer fan. Um, my kids are starting to get a little bit into soccer, so this might be a fun one to watch with them. Another fun one to watch, the Soul Blu-ray that I picked up, Happy Feet. Um, I binged all of the Mad Max movies, all directed by George Miller. This is directed by George Miller as well. So I just kind of had to uh, see if, I want to see as many movies that that man has made as possible because Mad Max, his imagination just kind of soared everywhere. And now him in the kids genre, I'm hoping it's good. This one was a big phenomenon. I want to say they say this one, yeah, the best Academy Award for best animated film. That's crazy for Happy Feet. Came with this digital code. I don't know if you can uh, use it or not, but if you can, there you go. Happy Feet. Um, not much to say about Happy Feet, right? I don't even, I know I've seen it, but I don't remember a thing about it. But the last pickup that I got that I was so stoked to find were both of these, cartoons that time forgot. I am a huge sucker for animated shorts of any kind. Um, give me some that aren't Disney, that aren't Looney Tunes, Warner Brothers, any of that stuff. I'm excited to watch these suckers, and the majority of the time, they're loggable on Letterboxd, which I am trying to watch as many shorts as I can to put on there, because there's just not enough, like, I feel like these do get lost to time, all these shorts. It says cartoons that time forgot, people, definitely in today's day and age have forgot all this stuff and they're so good like on one of the laser discs that i have it has a whole tex avery collection and i've never seen or heard of any of those shorts before it's just fun to kind of go back and see see content see entertainment from so long ago that are just kind of like capitalized like that's why i like home entertainment just like it's something there that you can have forever and you can discover whenever you decide to pop it in. Just a very cool feeling to have. But that is it. I'll show like a nice, sexy uh, stack photo right there. Ooh la la, VHS is something that I don't really showcase too often on the channel, but I want to change that. So if you want more VHS content, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching this far. And until next time, I'll see you.